when a moss mantis clashes with a tiger beetle, two worlds collide. On the moss-covered branches of a South American rainforest, a specter haunts, ruthless, cunning, hidden. The moss mantis is a master concealer. Tiny tufts resembling lichen cover the mantid's body, breaking up its silhouette. It doesn't just look like moss, it behaves like moss. The moss mantis is so adept at impersonating moss that it'll hang down under the branches as well, even swaying side to side like a little bit of moss in the breeze. Talk about an evil genius. You may not see it, but it sees you. With super sensitive eyes, mottled and horned, to blend into the background. These two large compound eyes give the mantis excellent depth perception, a very wide field of view, and they can even detect motion up to 60 feet away. The instant it senses movement, the mantis deploys ingenious range-finding equipment on its neck. Mantis have a series of very fine hairs on the back of their neck that are in constant contact with the head. So as the head turns to look at a prey, the hairs also move, and this tells them exactly what direction to launch their reptorial strike. It's so accurate that 85% of the strikes are successful. In strike mode, the moss mantis lulls victims into complacency. It looks as harmless as any other part of the mossy forest. But when it goes on the attack, the moss mantis becomes a slick killing machine. Its huge limbs launch it through the air in search of prey. A wolf spider prowling for food doesn't realize it's on the menu. When a mantis snatches its prey, the entire strike only takes 30 to 50 milliseconds. That's three or four times faster than a human muscle reflex, or about 10% how long it takes for me to blink my eyes. Raptorial legs open like switchblades, revealing large spikes that hook the prey and drag it to the waiting mouth. Mandibles, sharp enough to slice through the toughest bug armor like a can opener, make short work of soft spider flesh. When the meal is over, the master of disguise lies in wait for another victim. But not every bug worries about camouflage or clever tactics. Flashy and fast, tiger beetles take other bugs head on. Tiger beetles are fast animals. They run after prey, they grab it, they tear it to pieces, they eat it fast and go off running again. With iridescent shells, metallic sheen, and blinding speed, ground-hugging tiger beetles are like Formula One cars on legs. They hold the land speed record for bugs, beetling along at an incredible 50 body lengths per second. If this was a human running equivalently fast, this would be 480 miles an hour. This is amazingly fast. But when the tiger steps on the gas, something strange happens. Its eyes can't keep up. 
they move so fast their brain can't process how fast they're moving. So they literally go blind while they're running. The tiger beetle's speed is matched only by its savagery. Enormous serrated mandibles tear the victim to pieces. Tiger beetles have these massive jaws. They're equivalent to 10% of the body length of the animal. They're these huge sickle-like shears. It's equivalent to humans having eight-inch teeth. Those jaws cut and mash, squeezing fluids from prey, leaving behind an unrecognizable pulp. But the tiger beetle's hectic pace requires a constant supply of fuel. Tiger beetles need to eat a lot all of the time in order to maintain their energy to run so fast. That puts it on a collision course with the moss mantis. What happens when the fast and the furious runs into the ghost who stalks? If the mantis doesn't get in a good first shot, the tiger beetle could really hurt it. Next, a speed demon takes on a master of disguise. Then, horned monsters go head to head. And later, terror tactics in the jungle. In the mossy reaches of a South American rainforest, a voracious tiger beetle is on its never-ending quest for food. Nearby, a moss mantis watches, poised to strike. The moss mantis attacks with lethal limbs and savage mouth parts. The tiger beetle combines speed with crushing, slicing mandibles. Who will inflict the mortal blow? The mantid must choose its moment with military precision. Because the tiger beetle can sever entire limbs with a single bite. Its jaws are big enough that it could tear the legs off this mantid. It could break the mantid in half. The beetle waits for telltale movement. Tiger beetles are visual predators. They're moving and they're looking for movement in the environment. And that's what they're tracking. The problem is when they come up against this mantis, the mantis isn't moving around. The mantis doesn't stay motionless for long. In less time than it takes to blink, switchblade arms snatch the tiger beetle. The mantid spins its foe around, keeping the beetle's deadly mandibles at a safe distance. All the while, the mantid's jaws wreak havoc. The mantis's mandibles might be small, but they can cut through just about any bug's armor. Defenseless, the tiger beetle has nowhere to run. Speed isn't everything. Sometimes the animals that just stay very still and then attack very rapidly are really the winners. In the bug world, it isn't always survival of the fastest.